making these babies look as big, plump, and juicy as you possibly can is what the tutorial today is all about. We're gonna get this lip look from no lips, from pencil lips, and we're gonna achieve it very easily in this video today. Hello my friends, we are going to be doing this lip look right here. It is a very nude lip look, but it is a very juicy lip look. And I wanted to bring you my lip routine in how I achieve this. And yes, I do have very thin pencil looking lips, but you can have your lips looking as plump as they possibly can and as nice as they possibly can without any Botox or fillers or anything like that. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this and and how you can achieve it too. Please keep watching and we will get into that tutorial right now. I probably started using this technique about a year and a half ago or so. I had seen several YouTubers do the contouring of the lips and since I don't have fillers, since I don't have anything in my lips, they always look really small. Plus I have pretty stark lines that come down, vertical lines that come down. So they're a nuisance and that drives me crazy. And that this was kind of born of how can I get my lips to look bigger without doing Botox or fillers. So that's where this kind of came from. So I'm going to start by showing you contouring. This I feel is really important because it gives the illusion that those lips are bigger. One of the things I want to tell you is normally when I'm doing my lips, I will wear a lip gloss while I'm doing my other makeup. For the purposes of this video, I didn't, but I will put a lip gloss on and let that kind of start sinking into my lips. I pay attention to the moisturizer that I even put around my lips. So everybody knows that I use the Suko Yakuzu Hara eye cream. That cream is so good for hydrating my lips as well. If you want to bump that up a notch, they have just their regular cream that really, really helps my lips overnight. I will put that all on my lips. And then I use City Lips at night to help my lips at night. Okay, so we're going to contour. We're going to contour with what's going to look like a crazy dark color. And it really truly is. Use a pencil brush. Mine is from Sigma. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'll grab the glasses and we will find out. Sigma E30 pencil brush. Hopefully everybody can see that really nice brush has a fine tip but it's not super stiff but still stiff enough that it can really line and buff things out so this is sephora their colors and this one is the second chance color this is the contour color that they have in that line um, this I had, have touted for years. Right now I'm testing out different cream products for contour, but this one works really good because it is a powder. It's going to stay around longer. When you do a cream, like a cream lipstick, it's going to wipe off. So we're going to do a powder. We're going to really try hard to make sure that we get those lips contoured with enough color that that's going to stay part of the day because you are lining outside the lip line. Okay, so I am going to be looking over here a little bit. It's hard to talk while you do this. The first thing we're going to do is right in the middle. We're going to start in the middle and we're going to go back and forth and we're going to draw the contour underneath, not on the lip line, not anywhere, right underneath. Now, if you notice, that's already giving definition to the lips, but I didn't go in with a lot. We're gonna build this up, and that's one thing that I wanna tell you. When you're using these colors, they're pretty dark. You know, you're, whatever color you use, you could use any sort of an eyeshadow you had that you like that is more along the lines of a cool color, because if you get that warm color on there to begin with, it's not gonna create a shadow, it's gonna create warmth, and we really wanna create this shadow. So let me go in again, I'm, I'm just building the color up making that line a little bit bigger as I go along. I will fill it in and try to get it to look as natural as possible. Just like when you're doing your eye makeup, it, the more buffing you do, the more natural things are gonna look. So now once I get that built up underneath, I'm gonna take just a little bit more and I'm gonna start to feather it up towards the ends. Now this part, I'm gonna come a little bit closer to the actual lip line. So I'm just going back and forth, buffing, buffing. 
you can experiment if you want this to be bigger looking you can experiment and see how far you can actually take yours keep in mind nobody's gonna be like this close to you they're gonna be a little bit further away so people aren't going to pick apart your look just because you feel like you're close you have a magnification mirror you feel like you can see everything people aren't gonna see that they're gonna see you from a distance they're gonna look at your overall look they're not going to pick apart any specific thing unless they might be a makeup artist or something okay so now before i start on the top lip i forgot to do this so this is important to me because again i feel like it makes things look a little bit bigger i'm just going to take my finger i grabbed the first highlighter i had in my drawer it's from elf and i'll make sure i link everything below and list everything below and I am just going to use my finger to draw a fake Cupid's bow right there. Just a little bit. It's not going to get out of hand crazy. We're not going to be showing up a ton of beam. And if you do, you can go back in and buff it out lightly so that there's not too much. Just be real careful. Sometimes if you get too much glow underneath your nose, you can look like you got like a little snotty nose or something. So be real careful about that. You just want to stay down by that lip line. And then we're going to take that pencil brush and we're going to over a line again. We're going to go up into that area where I just put the highlight. So I'm just dipping into there and I'm just going to go above the lip line. want to match your natural lip line you really want to do that because if you don't it's going to look weird it's going to look like they're not your natural lips like you have overdrawn but if you match your lip line just a little bit outside and then you buff in this color this contour color towards your natural lip it's going to look so normal nobody's going to look at it and go that looks ridiculous they're going to look at you and think that you have fuller lips The top can be a little bit trickier than the bottom. We have a natural contour down there at the bottom, but our top lips sometimes get a little bit lost. So make sure you really fill in that Cupid's bow part. Because if you just get the arch of your lip right there, you're going to look like you just have either dirt <laughs> or you're going to look like they're crazy outlined weird. So if you really pay attention to the Cupid's bow, it's going to look a little bit more natural. Now, I am noticing right now that it looks like I've got a dirty lip. That's okay. That's normal. Go back when you in with your pencil brush if you want to. Buff it out just a tiny bit. If it gets out of hand, you can go back in with your sponge or your brush, whichever you used for your foundation, and tone it down a little bit. I'm going to go in with a Huda Beauty pencil. This one is in Muse. I love this color. It's a great color for being like a deepened nude color with a little bit of rose in it. And I'm going to go just above where I was contouring on those lips. So again, starting in the middle and then bringing it out. If you're someone that has been with me for a while, you know that I do have a palsy in my hands as a disability and I do shake. I apologize if you're here for the first time and I didn't tell you that right off the bat. Not anything that's super detrimental to my health, but it can be a distraction when I am doing my tutorials. So I just want to disclaimer that. Now let's go into the top here and we're going to do that Cupid's bow. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not on camera. I'm going to try and get fairly close so you can see it. You're going to see that I have two lines here. One is the contour and then one is the lip line. I'm going right on top of the contour, but I buffed the contour out enough that it looks like it's just below it. So we're getting a little bit of that shadow that makes it look a little bit bigger. You can take your pencil brush. I just dropped my glasses. You can take your pencil brush on a rag or a brush switch or whatever you like, and you can go back in at this point and blend those two together. This is where the magic will start to happen of your lips looking bigger. What I want to do is I want to fill this in just a little bit out here because again we're going to get that contour look where we'll have full looking lips in the middle but on the outside it will look like it's receding a little bit so our lips lips will look a little bit bigger and yes this is impossible to do while you are talking. For my lipstick I chose Nude Lust from Maybelline really love this color it's a beautiful nude but it isn't super pale it's just kind of a, a medium because in the summertime i like wearing a little bit more color on my lips because i do have a little bit more coloring anyway so if i'm going for a nude this is the one that i pick i'm going to start in the middle again 
and I'm just bringing that color everywhere now. What's gonna happen with that is it's gonna blend so well with our lip liner and it's gonna look so nice as the two meld together and you're gonna get a gradient effect of here's my lipstick, here's my lip liner, here's my lip contour, but it doesn't have to look like it's separate. It can look like it's all together. And if you want to one more time, you can take that pencil and just blend everything so it looks seamless. I posted on Instagram a picture of me and how my lips looked different when I was like 13 years younger and how they look different now. That's all about makeup application because I've never been able to afford fillers or anything like that. It was just the illusion of this tutorial, really. It was just a difference there. And the other thing is lip liner. I didn't have any on in the picture 13 years ago. I didn't even think about lip liner or really pay any attention to it. So that was the difference in those pictures, but it made a huge difference. Now this is a Sephora Outrageous Lip Gloss. It's got a plumping effect like the Buck Buxom. But I'm gonna put a lip gloss right here in the middle this lip gloss right here in the middle. And I'm going to do that because again, we're wanting to make this part, this full part of our lips look even fuller and give the illusion of bigger lips. What's beautiful about this lip gloss is it does have a bit of a holographic look to it. So it does catch the light and it does show a little bit of different shimmer as you move your lips. So it does make it look a little bit bigger. And I believe that that is the end of the tutorial. What do you think about the lips? Do you think that they look quite a bit bigger? Or is this something that you think you might like to try and incorporate into your routine? It really is something that took me like maybe a handful of times to get used to but once i did i feel like i can't live without that now i am on the hunt for the perfect lip liner that is that contour color so if you know of any like grayish very cool toned lip liners i would love to hear that from you whether they're high end or whether they are drugstore i really just have been looking for one that could do this on the go kind of thing instead of having to carry around a lip brush and the contour too so hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up thanks so much for spending a bit of your day with me everybody please take care of yourselves catch you all in my next video bye friends